how do we define respiratory distress? So normally it's a combination of two of presence of respiratory rate being more than 60, in other words, tachypnea. We can have subcostal or intercostal retractions. I mentioned about the chest wall compliance. So obviously when there is lung disease, it drags the chest wall in and that's what we see as retractions. We have the accessory muscles of uh, respiration working as well and we see that as nasal flaring. In a newborn, there is a peculiar mechanism called grunting, which is forced expiration against the closed glottis. So this is auto peep. Baby tries to generate the positive and expiratory pressure to keep the pressure above the closing volume. So the functional residual capacity depends a lot on the lung staying open. The closer it is to the closing volume, the more likely that the lung will collapse more and your oxygenation is going to suffer. So the baby has a spontaneous mechanism where they breathe against a closed glottis. So this provides an auto peep or positive and expiratory pressure to keep the uh, airway open and the lungs open as well.